okay so this is the setup with two linear actuators controlled by sonar this is a four channel pro r3 which can control two linear actuators at a time so starting with this battery pack so basically what this is this is uh, the input terminal for the live wire right l is for live n is for neutral so we have these three connections there for the live wire which is basically this plug and this basically is an ac dc converter which can power up to three devices you can see here there are three positives and three negatives so let's look at the connection for one of the linear actuators so this is the linear actuator and it has a, a red and a black wire let me show you the diagram that will be more helpful so this is the diagram basically the linear actuator black and the red they are going to the common port of the sonoff there are four channels here right one two three and four every sonoff channel has this type of connection a normally open a common and a normally closed normally open common and normally closed so what we need to do is uh, the black wire from the linear actuator will go to one of the common in the first channel and the red wire from the linear actuator will go to the common of the second channel and we can do the same thing for channel number 3 and 4 with the second linear actuator if you are connecting two linear actuators so now the linear actuators also need to be powered so that's where power supply comes into play this is basically a dc power supply so the positive and negative from the battery pack will come to these terminals so the positive will come to normally open of the first channel and the negative power supply will come to normally closed of the second channel and then basically we have to connect both normally closed channels with another jumper cable and both normally open wires to another jumper cable the linear actuator red wire is going to the common and the black wire is going to the common of the first relay channel and then there are these jumper cables as you can see the white jumper cables between the two normally closed and there is a small black jumper cable connecting the two normally open devices and then this is the power supply going and then lastly this zone off device also needs to be connected so you can connect either to a live ac connection neutral or live or you can have one of the dc adapters here so when i power this on you can see the green light here and by the way this small switch right next to it is to control the voltage if you need to increase or decrease the voltage coming out of uh, these channels you can adjust it through this and you can see that the sonoff device is also powered on the blue sign means it's already connected and to control it to the wifi you have to go to ev link app v link now because my linear actuators are already connected this device so uh, you can see that all four channels will show up here for the linear actuator to work you have to close or turn off channel number 2 and 4 this is the linear actuator coming out once the channel 2 is turned off if i turn off channel 4 the other linear actuator also starts to come out if you need to retract them so you have to turn on all channels again and now turn off channel number 1 and 3 so turn off channel 1 you can see the first one is retracting and if i turn off channel number 3 the other linear actuator is retracting also and if you use home assistant then all of this can be controlled easily through custom automations